Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Neo Fox TV. Thank you for your likes, for your comments, and everything. God bless you. Please always touch the subscribe button and please like my videos and drop your comments. Today, I want to talk to you about the heart of man. Today I'll be talking to you from the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 where the Bible said the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. The heart is just a small organ that controls the whole body. It can destroy and also can also make good if properly managed. That is the heart. Today I'll be sharing with you the categories of hearts we have. Number one, we have the unsaved heart. So many people are not saved. So many people are not born again. And also, so many people are born again. So many people go to church, but they are not saved. They call themselves born again, but they are not saved. So many pastors today are not saved because of what they have in their heart. Their heart is not saved. Salvation is free. It's not when you get to the front of the people, you pray, you do everything, but at the back, what is in your heart? The Bible says in Psalm, it says, either has a clean hands and a pure heart, why don't if that will be so unto vanity not what they said fully. God sees mm -hmm. our heart. You might be thinking that people are not saying what we are doing, but God is saying us. You are praying, people are saying, ah, Pastor, yes, Pastor, yes, sir, yes, sir. But your heart, what is your heart speaking? That's number one. Number two, wicked heart. If a person does not submit himself to the Holy Ghost, to the Holy Spirit, the person will continue to do evil. The only thing we are saying is people laughing with us, saying good things about us in front of people. But actually, do you know what is in your heart? You don't know. A wicked heart. For you not to have a wicked heart, the only person that can help you is the Holy Spirit. Judas Iscariot ate with Jesus in the same plate. They dined and wine together on the same table. But what happened? He walked, he betrayed Jesus. You don't know that friend you have. You don't know what is in the heart of that your friend. That so-called person you call your best friend. That so-called person you call your brother. That so-called person you call your sister. Jesus is carrying earth with Jesus. But his heart was wicked. The heart of man. Number three, discourage heart. When so many people are faced with different kind of challenges, they start to think about why me, why this, why that. Their heart becomes discouraged. Then themselves, they become discouraged because the heart controls the whole body. And when your heart is discouraged, your whole body from your head to your toe becomes discouraged also. In the book of Proverbs chapter 24 verse 10, the Bible says, if thou faint in the day of adversity, he said thy strength is small. Don't faint. Go. Move forward. There is no situation will weigh me down. He's your friend. Jesus is with you 247. He said, call on me. All ye that are heavily laden, I will give you rest. Don't be discouraged. What's that situation in your heart? What you're facing is it what like Job faced in the Bible? Job was a very rich man. Very, very rich. But what happened to him he was troubled. He was tempted. Even though his wife asked him, cause the Lord and die. But he didn't do it. What is that situation in your heart that is making you to be discouraged? Or is weighing you down? Say, for the Lord is with me. Say, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life. He didn't say, he shall follow you on Monday. No, no. He didn't say he shall follow you on Tuesday. Proclaim. Prophesy this into your life all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord. Who will dwell in the house of the Lord and will not overcome trouble? 
I will no longer come discouragement. Don't be discouraged. Jesus is there for you. Number four, double-minded heart. There are some people that are full of doubts. Will Jesus do this? Can he do this? But I didn't go to school. I can I be rich? But my parents don't have money. I cannot go to school. I don't have this. I don't have doubt. Double-minded people. Even the Bible says in James chapter 1 verse 8, it says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. If you continue to doubt, you'll be unstable. God cannot help you if you have doubt, if you have doubt in your heart. You have to remove everything that is called doubt in your heart. Number five, the selfish heart. The kind of heart that want to have every good thing to themselves. They don't want their neighbor to have what they have. They want to be called always the boss. When people see them, ah, boss, they are happy. They don't want you to have what they have. That is selfish, selfish hearts. Selfish hearts. When Jesus Christ saw the multitude, what happened? He fed them with bread and fish. He gave, he didn't keep to himself alone. He gave to the multitude. How many of you are willing to give? So many things I notice from people of, of these days is that the rich only give to the rich. Because when they give to the rich, the rich will say, ah, this man did this, this man did this. That's what people of our days want and that is selfishness. They want everything just to be for them. Some people, when they don't even need, they still want to keep acquiring it. That is selfishness. And you see others suffering. Others, they don't have it. You see them suffering. Only you want to be there. Only you want to have it. That is selfishness. A selfish heart. Number six is a proud heart. When, like, someone is telling them, this is not the way to do it. This is not the way to do it. But because of their status, or because of who they are, they will feel really good. How would this small boy talk to me or correct me? Does he know the experience I've had? Does he know where I've been to? Does he know the money I have? Proud. The Bible says God receives the proud. Because Jesus himself was not proud. He walked with the rich. He walked with the poor. He walked with the sick. He healed them. When you read Deuteronomy chapter 8, the Bible is saying there, Thy heart be lifted up, and thou forget the Lord thy God, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Some people forget where God has picked them from. When the Holy Spirit is using someone that is below you, to correct you. Proud. Arrogant. Please be watchful. Number seven, the abstinent heart. These are the set of people that don't like to listen to correction. And these kind of people are usually, they end up being destroyed at the end of the day because they don't listen to correction. Nobody is above mistake and nobody Nobody is too big to be corrected. Everybody can be corrected. But these abstinent acts, they refuse to be corrected. And at the end of the day, it's destruction. In my language, in Yoruba language, they used to say, Igbera ga, Igbera shonle. When, 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 when you're too big, you're too pompous, at the end of the day, you meet yourself down. Number eight, fearful heart. These are the kind of people, the kind of hearts that are fearful. When they see anything like this, they jump up. Yeah, they are afraid. I remember a story that my pastor told me. He 
said there was a man of God. He was sleeping in the night. And when he just started hearing some noise, woo, 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 in the night, when he woke up, saw a demon beside his bed. The pastor woke up, he said, it's you. Okay, when you are done, please go. I want to sleep. And the man went back to sleep. And the man was not even afraid. Because God has not given out the spirit of fear. Don't be afraid. Jesus is with you. The next one is a heavy heart. These are the kind of people that when they are faced with any situation, they become confused. And let me tell you something. Any heart that is confused will never get solution. No. Any confused heart cannot get solution. Instead, it will complicate the issue. It will complicate the issue more and more. Because you've entertained fear into your heart. You've let that burden to get into you. And when it gets into your heart, your heart becomes confused. Your heart cannot give you solution. Don't let any situation trouble you or bring you down. Jesus is with you. The next one is a troubled heart. One thing I want you to know is that the problem of life is normal. Being born again, or being the bishop, being the general overseer, does not exclude you from the troubles of life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. The Bible says you shall have tribulations. Say, but rejoice, for you have conquered the war. And one thing you should know is that God did not say you shall not have trouble. No, no, no. He said, for I will deliver you in trouble. But he didn't say, I will deliver you from trouble. In John chapter 14, verse 27, the Bible says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I will give you the peace of the world. Please, don't let your heart be troubled. The next one is the foolish and darkened hearts. There's a kind of people that have said that there is no God. God does not exist. Such people's heart is now darkened because they don't have the light in them. Jesus is light. And when they say God does not exist, they are foolish and their heart is darkened. The next one is deceitful. And mischievous hearts. These are the kind of people that you cannot trust with your business. These are the kind of people that steals. When you look at Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 14, the Bible says, O Jerusalem, watch thy heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? If you are involved in anything fraudulent, God does not want it. If you are involved with anything confident, please leave it. God is telling you today, leave it and embrace a saved heart. You need to examine your heart today and do a thorough checkup. Which categories of this heart do you belong to? When you read 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, the Bible says, Examine yourself whether you be in faith. Of your own self. Know ye not your own self, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. Examine yourself. Which category do you fall to? One of the key to success in life is to be able to keep your heart, to be able to guide your heart. Because the heart can lead you to destruction and also the heart can lead you to be successful. I pray your heart will not lead you to hell, your heart will not lead you to destruction, but to good, to blessing, to favor, in Jesus name. Thank you for watching this video, God bless you and see you some other time. Please subscribe to my channel, Mary Fox TV. Thank you guys and God bless you. See you some other time. Bye.